all is forgiven, Rivet. You have put two beautiful peps side by side with each other. No, I just thought something. What's that? You know Peppy and you fan? Yes. You know that South Park uh, meme? Uh, South Park meme, no. What was Randy? Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. The one with come Randy. Come back. Please come back. The one with Randy. Oh, where he's at the computer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, well, good morning, everyone. It's Saturday. You know what that means. Welcome along to Trains in World 4. Your weekend does start right here, unless it's Friday. And then it's about to start for you all. But anyway, we got a couple of routes finishing up this uh, weekend. So without further ado, let's go to the trains and to the first route, which finishes up, which is the Cathcart Circle line and the final scenario, which is around and around. Run the Glasgow Circle in each direction while performing passenger duties. So grab your ticket and get in line. Sheldon will be here as well to have some fun with you all. Final time with the 314 peps. Let's uh, go out in style and go out uh, with a bit of a bang. We'll see um, how it goes uh, this afternoon with uh, with all that. Good morning. Today you have been tasked with operating several return services to Glasgow to begin uh, get the train set up. Okay. Cool. That's easy. That is uh, very, very easy uh, indeed. Just uh, bear with me one second. Itch. Uh, oh, no, it's not an itch. I know what you're doing. Not quite an itch. But uh, it can uh, cause... This is where we need one of those nasal hair uh, removers. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, I found the thumbnail already. I found the thumbnail already. <laughs> Give. Two units side by side. Absolutely. I think it's six and seven or... <coughs> oh, sorry. Six and one. Six and one. Six and one. That's uh, who it is. Let me close you. I'll sort the rest of you out uh, later on. But uh, yes, it is the final scenario on the calf car circle. Hello, 314201. The final calf car. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, better stop that. Unless if somebody decides to bring out an expansion pack for this. Service is now ready to depart. Yeah, we've been waiting for Rivet to uh, bring out an expansion for this for a while. They're <coughs> too busy fucking up other routes. They're too busy messing up uh, other routes, uh, exactly. I've got a way to uh, get this uh, fucker one second. Okay. Yep, that's why I do. It's, oh, the only problem is, it's a bit of a tight squeeze in there. Yes. That's what she said. Well, all 37 of them. <laughs> there we go, got it. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but uh, bloody hell. That's a whopper. I know. And they're annoying as well. They are. They are so very annoying as well. That's why I said we need to invest in one of those nasal hair um, shavers. You can get them. Yeah. You need to invest in them. I think they're easy to clean as well, which is uh, awesome. Anyway, like I said, final calf cuts. Uh, circle scenario on train symbol after this the cap cart circle disappears we will gladly delete it off our system we've done all the trophies bar one which I'm hoping we get at the end of this one if we don't we're screwed right do you know why because the trophy for all the scenarios <laughs> surely we get that would one. that not be the most rivet thing to happen if we got to the end of this route we completed the cow cut! Oh, we didn't get the trophy. <laughs> Revit! <laughs> it is Saturday after all. You know what that means? Absolutely. But hey, what's better than uh, doing Saturdays and playing with peps? Peps? I now present to you with pep. Pep? 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 pep. Why do you speak of peps? Because the last peps are Merseywell units. The last peps are Merseys, yep. There's only one class 508 left now. Is there only one left? One left. They oh. should hold on to it and put it in a special livery. Hold Speaking of special liveries, I need to go up to Liverpool. For 507-001. Aye. Because they said two for scrap yesterday. Maybe that's what I should actually do Sunday. I mean, uh, not... Not to... Instead of going to... Because... An interesting thing has popped up. 
and it's put me in kind of two minds. Yeah. If you know what I'm saying now. So what has happened is next, um, well actually today, the day that uh, we're filming this. Well, the day this is going up. Oh yeah, is this going up for the overtime band starts? Yes, this is going up for the overtime band starts uh, on Monday. So what the idea for myself was, was that I was going to go up to do cross gates to South Milford for the Azuma diverts. Because nothing can get through Wakefield Kirk, uh, Westgate. Yeah. So all the Azumas. Was that on the 2nd? Uh, no, that was on the 29th. Okay. The, 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 sorry, no, 27th. This is going up on the 27th. Okay. So th this goes up today where I'm in two minds of where to go. Okay. But then another idea came up. Now, there is an opportunity to do the Azuma diverts in March. And I think it's after I come back from my holiday in Bournemouth. Okay. There is a little problem, though, with that. And that is? Well, I will now explain to you... This is how complex next Saturday's going to get. I want your intake here. So I want you to be honest with me here. I could go do those five stations. I will get everything flying through. Everything is as normal. All the cross countries, all the ES East Coast, Trans Pennine, Northern, etc. The full whack kit and caboodle. Yes. Or, oh, that's uh, Pollock Shores East, is it? That's uh, Pollock Shores down there. So, yes, we'll be so back. So, we'll go to Pollock Shores West first. We're going to uh, West, Pollock Shields West first. Oh, Shields. Yes, Shields West. First. Oh, yeah, Shores is a bit further down. Shores is a bit further down. What a load of Pollock. I know, what a load of Pollocks. So, I could do that plan still. No problem. However, then, another issue has come up. Another issue? Another issue with that day has come up. Okay. Well, there's no trains via Wakefield. So how a cross country gave from Leeds to Sheffield? They're going via Barnsley. Okay. So I could do the stretch between Sheffield and Wakefield Kirkgate, including Barnsley. However, if I do those stations, was well, only one station. <coughs> That's Darton. No, 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 no. Um, we're talking not just um, Sheffield. I mean, not, not Sheffield, though. We're, we're talking... Um, Chapel Town. Chapel Town, Medley Hill, Elsa Carr. Uh, there's yeah. another station between them as well before Barnsley. Woonwell. Yes. Uh, then you've got Darnton, Wakefield, Kirkgate. And then I assume you'll have um, Normanton and uh, what's the other station? Wood Woodlesford? Yes. Yes. But not Castleford. Not Castleford. No. No. So we, we put... We but put you that... would have to go to Castleford to probably turn around. <laughs> uh, probably, yes. But then I could still do Castleford because TransPennine go that way now, don't they? Some services. Some services. So there's that idea. Do I do Barnsley for the cross-country diverts? But if I do that, what I was thinking of on the day I go do um, Sheffield and Mansfield the day before, when I go stay over Barnsley... Yeah. I could have done perhaps some trains first off, so done all the stations Sheffield to Barnsley. So morning with the trains, afternoon with the buses, two two vlogs, thank you very much, goodbye, God bless. Yes. Brilliant. Well, our trains and stations are no but then experience. there is an opportunity to do those South Milford diverts in March. I don't get cross country. Cross country are going straight from York down to Doncaster. Ah. So I would miss out on cross country. I still get all the others, all the Trans Pennine, all the Northern. But the East Coast go from one each direction to two each direction. So in other words, it's a, it's a full Leeds service for East Coast Mainline. <clears throat> so in other words, because there's no cross country, they got the extra path for another. A exactly, they've stole the other path for uh, an extra Azuma. So I could do that. Maxwell Park? Uh, yeah, Maxwell Park, well done. He, he knows his calf cart. He knows his calf cart, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if he remembers that, because um, you know it's uh, two trips. Well, guess what? 
We gotta do the reverse trip in the second half. <laughs> what are we doing? Glasgow to Glasgow, then Glasgow to Glasgow. Yes! We're doing Glasgow to Glasgow via Pollock Shields West. Yeah. And then we'll do Glasgow to Glasgow via Mount Florida. Yes. And Pollock Shields. Or Maxwell Park. We'll, we'll just say we're going via Maxwell Park and Mount Florida first, then via Mount Florida and Maxwell yeah. Park second. So that that's the uh, that's the route. But next Saturday, before all the overtime bang comes in, in other words, when this goes up, could it go Liverpool and go get 507 That'd probably be more easier. That would be easier. Because you know what LWR like with the overtime ban? Oh, yes, so I do. The only problem is, though, is there any cheap tickets with a... Oh, mind you, I can't get cheaper tickets with Avanti anymore, can I? Because Avanti don't call it Stafford. Well, it, well did they do? But not where... Not for a Liverpool train. Not for a Liverpool train. I'd have to get uh, a Glasgow and then change it to... Uh, True. Crew. Or a Manchester. Because I think the Manchester now comes in before the... Um, I try to think which Avanti actually comes in before Liverpool. That uh, crew. Is that worth finding out? Give me my phone. Actually, yeah. Because we, we've gained a lot more services with Avanti. Yes. But we've also lost a key service with Avanti. We have. In a way. Goodbye, uh, Skipple. Yeah, because we gained Chester. We gained Chester, we gained Manchester, and we gained the Anglo-Scotland service. So we gained three, but lost... Liverpool. And also a Hollyhead as well. We also work... Well, I know those Hollyhead services are just going to be terminated at crew. Yeah, those Hollyheads are... I know, especially since it was chased at 37. Oh, yeah, the 10.55. Get that one first. <coughs> Cancelled it due to a shortage of available train crew. Yeah, let's have a look. Uh, crew next um, Saturday. Because I want to make this decision before I film the Coventry to Bur Birmingham International stretch. Will Ian get to do Hampton and Arden first time? Stay tuned for this and more. <laughs> but though, due to the overtime bad, there is rolling strikes as well. Yeah, there are rolling strikes. So... And when I heard about it yesterday filming this video, I was like, for fuck's sake. I know. Because, believe it or not, 2023... You know um, that scene... From the mask. Yes. When they're shooting at him in the nightclub. Yes. And he's like dodging all the bullets easily. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. And then there's that one. <laughs> well, you got me. That's partner. the scene, yes. <laughs> so basically, 2023 was literally me dodging all those bullets. Just without the comedy um, CGI effects of uh, you moving your hips and uh, pulling yeah. your crotch up uh, to avoid a bullet. And changing clothes and all that. <laughs> but 2024 is like the one where he turns into that cowboy. Uh, the Matador. It was a, no, it was a cowboy. Yeah, sorry, cowboy yeah, right. slash sheriff. Yes. And it's like, and then it hits him. Yeah. No, um, he knocked the gun out of his hand first and then it shot him. Yeah. Well, that's what it's like. <laughs> and then you, you walk it over... In that com that's what you should do, actually. You should do that comedy effect, right? Just you on the mask's face, right? <laughs> you on the face of the mask, and the guy shooting you are LNWR and WMR and everyone else. Or Aslef. Or Aslef, yeah, and uh, the R&D. And just have you in all these uh, different parts. And then uh, the last one. You got me, partner. <laughs> and yeah. then put your own voice over the, when he collapses in Aslev's arms. Hold, hold me closer. I've never felt this pain before. <coughs> <coughs> Tell Labour I do give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, because uh, I was planning to get to uh, a place called Camberley. Yes. On the 3rd of... Um, February. So I could go to a Motorola <laughs> show the next day. But you can still get there. 
Yeah. It's just uh, a little more complicated. Yeah. Basically, that's what's happened because I was hoping get West Midlands trains. I could got, got it down to London, went that way, or I could have got them down to Worcester and go that way. Yeah, yeah. But now it sees they decide to strike on the third with Avanti. <clears throat> that doesn't help either. Yeah. And EMR. And East Midlands Railway. They've, they essentially killed practically every route out of London on that day. Most of the Midlands. Yeah, they killed the Midlands. And, the and, only... then, and then it comes out that um, Aslef, as long as they're being funded by Labour, yeah, go figure, um, they'll keep doing these strikes. See, I think I, I've got to that point now, right? Because I work in a job where if they strike, hey, I'm like, I'm sitting there back, uh, feet up on the table. Yeah, you go ahead, strike. You've just given me more money. You just put more work in my back pocket, pal. So see if I can. Oh, with the buses. Yeah, with the uh, with the buses. Which, speaking of, did you see? Um, did you see that last night? Which one? Um, on the Facebook when I said uh, time for my favourite uh, time of part of the uh, work that uh, I do. The paperwork! Oh yes. And um, either, I'm asked again, what do you do? But it was more authoritative, he wanted, he demanded to know. And I, t I turned around and told him straight, I said, no one know. The only people, that, there was only five people who know. One of my work colleagues. Yeah. You. Yeah. Two of my closest friends. Yeah. And someone else, oh, my boss. Yes. Oh no, sorry, there's one other person that knows, one other person knows, but I trust him. I yeah. There's six people that know. That's it. No one else is knowing. Right? Even one of the um, drivers who um, turned up on... Um, lovely lady. Lovely lady. Absolutely lovely lady. She, she said, what are you doing here? I said, I'm the coordinator. Since when? It, it was like shock news to her. Well, this woman knows you. She don't know me, know me. Yeah. She knows me through Michael. Oh, yeah. Because she knows Michael. Because there was another driver who turned up who knows Michael as well. Yeah. Because uh, Mike, Michael pulled in. He was like, excuse me, where's the next bus to thingy? I said, for you, never. <laughs> and then up comes, uh, I think it was an eminence. And he knew the eminence uh, driver. Yeah, he and they they were he was in his uh, four by four. He was in the coach having a chin wag, and they're like, "Excuse me, would you mind not having a chin wag? I'm trying to do my job here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying I want to get him out." And then I had a chin wag with the uh, with the eminence driver afterwards, and uh, yeah, he knows um, he's known Michael a long time. So, but she was surprised to see you there. But she was surprised, yeah. She was uh, she was very surprised. Which is going to be very interesting when I do the next shift, because another company's coming in to do it with um, D and G, but that's when we're shut to Warsaw, so we have to have. Because she said she was on the the, um, the route staff, but I looked at the sheet, and uh, coastal liners are not there. Yeah, it's, it's bus link, and um, unless she's doing it with bus link, she could be. But I doubt she's uh, doing it with D&G. I, I doubt. Oh, she could, but uh, I'm not... Uh, oh, by the way, did he reply back? Who replied back? Oh, no. He then uh, private messaged me. Oh, I just want to know. And I thought, no. No. And what... Not being funny, but what business of yours to know anyway? Exactly. Exactly. I've always stated, right, when... Whenever I've had a job, my job is between three people. Me, my boss, and my bank... Sorry, my bank manager and my tax man. Yeah. If you are none of those three people, you don't need to know. Exactly. And then someone will turn... Oh, that means you don't have a fucking job, then you benefit scrounger. Oh, no, I do have a job. Just because I don't choose to plaster it all over Facebook like a lot of people yeah. do, doesn't mean that I don't have a job. It's like um, that thing that happened on Twitter recently. With uh, with Jen? Yeah. Yeah. Because some driver decided to message locations of where people are at. It's like, 
Well, sorry, that's an invasion of privacy. Not only is it an invasion of privacy, I'm pretty sure it's against um, his company's um, thing as well. I don't think he was driving that day, though. It, it wouldn't matter if he was yeah. driving or not. End of. You're not supposed... I mean, do you know... I mean, specifically for Jen, with her being um, transgender, a t I, I mean this in the nicest possible way. I, I swear I mean this in the nicest possible way. They are what is known as a targeted group mm -hmm. by by a lot of hate. So for someone like that to have their location given out, I mean, first of all, that guy doesn't know if she lives there. He doesn't know if she, he's visiting there or whatever, right? Yeah. But to give out that location of that person, especially being a content creator and, and a popular content creator at yeah. that... That could have all sorts of ramifications. That could have all sorts of actual ramifications that he didn't even re he doesn't even realise. And then he knows he fucked up afterwards because then he goes and protects his tweets. You know why he protected his tweets? Why? So he couldn't reveal his locations where he was at. Oh, exactly. Hypocrite. Hypocrite. He's all for doing that and then, oh... Anyone who challenges him, oh, you don't work on the railway, you don't do this, you're not a real person, really? I'd love to see him try that with me. One thing would happen, and one thing would happen very quickly. You, you, you'd hear reports of a train with its si cab side uh, window out of uh, out of its cab and a driver on the floor. Because I ain't having anyone do that shit with me. That that would bad enough with the other Facebook group we shall not mention. To be fair, they've got very quiet. They have. Very, very quiet. Which leads me to believe two things. They've created another group that's or, private. That's private. Or they've, um, after what happened with another of their members, maybe they've uh, reeled it in a bit. Maybe they've realised. Maybe they've uh, realised, oh dear, now we've uh, messed up. To be fair, I haven't even heard anything about them for a while. Which is good, because they're keeping my name out of their filthy mouse. But at the same time, it's bad, because I don't know what they're up to. Yeah. Especially since how one of them has uh, started to try and become nice to me all of a sudden again. But uh, I'm, I'm adamant on that. He can be nice as pie all he wants, I don't care. He made his choice, live with it. I could do without that toxic person in my life. Exactly. You you wanted to go um suck the crap out of um racist, homophobic whatevers. You go do that with pleasure. You have no place in my life if you want to do that. I'm I'm as chill as they come, but if you if you cross a line with me, you can sod off. Same with um, that idiot down uh, London, because I've heard nothing from. Uh, <laughs> I, no, I I heard about him um, on Saturday from Phil. Um, he's still in the bus fraternity, but now he's bashing all the new stuff, all the electric new stuff. Okay. And he he was the first person to open his gob and say, I didn't like all that stuff. I don't like all that stuff. I want my old stuff. Ah. <laughs> Hypocrite. Hypocrite. It's like um, when we play these games, because when they come out, the first person to bash them are the people that end up playing them. I eat us. <laughs> Why do you think the burrito line is not here? Speaking of, I actually need to check that forum, don't I? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Cause I want to see, because uh, what time is it now? It's got to be getting close to midday now, hasn't it? Oh, that was a big screen freeze. 11.53. 11.53. So the Barina line must have been out um, a couple hours already. Uh, let's see if anyone... Why are you getting that up? Yeah, because it, that guy that I mentioned, mm -hmm. not only did it... To uh, could you just, um, no, the, uh, box, the middle box, the middle box, the one they stand on, yeah, I just need to go, no, towards you a bit. There you go, perfect. 
Because he <coughs> did that to another person as well. Did he? Yeah. Shouldn't be doing that, man. No. I, I don't care if this, that and the other. Uh, going overground version 2, the goblin discussion and speculation, Fred. I'll have a look at that in a second. Feedback, Fred! Burina line! This could be interesting. Here we go. There are six replies here. Time for a roasting. Time for... We roast rivet on a rivet content, because this is rivet, by the way. Probably the only DLC rivet have got right. Probably. Did they do the Glasgow Edinburgh? Yes, and they even got that wrong. And they're from Falkirk. Go figure! I bet Falkirk was right. It's like, yeah, the rest of, rest of Glasgow and Edinburgh could go in. Okay, then. So we have the opening thread post that I said earlier. This is the master feedback thread for the Bernina line, Toronto, Auspicia Bernina, root add-on from TGD Alex. So, the first comment. <laughs> I've been waiting. Oh. He knows. The root looks absolutely stunning, but a couple of early nitpicks on PS5. The safety system sounds are used in the TV speaker when they should be coming out of the DualSense controller. This happened on Blackpool 2, so I'm guessing DD you haven't told third parties you should be working in TS4. Also, the Loco Level 10 trophy popped up when I hit Level 2. I wouldn't complain about that. I wouldn't complain about that. But no, I think they want to earn it properly. Um, it seems that unfortunately the update to enable safety systems on Xbox has not become available. Therefore, the safety systems are currently absent on the game unless you have an Xbox compatible keyboard. Whoops. I do wonder about design choices. I'm doing the scenic view scenario for it via the journey section. I thought it'd be a good way to see the best of scenery. But they've set the weather to thick fog, so you can't see anything of interest. So, hold on. The scenario is called Scenic Views, and you've set it to thick fog. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. What, what doesn't compute about that? Um, not the best choice, but very realistic. It could have... Very thick fog sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. It could do. Uh, well, the flog... Flog? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, hello. Speaking of flogging. <laughs> I still want to ride that train. <laughs> and everyone wants to ride that train. <laughs> no riding it when you're in Scotland. If I hear reports from... Uh, what's his name um, on Twitter? What's his name? The funny one. Oh. oh, um... Angus. That's it. That's it. If I hear reports from Angus, we've got reports that there's some tool that's uh, riding our plant bots. Please start riding <laughs> our plant bots. And I'll just put your photo with this guy. <laughs> uh, right, anyway, oh. so... Um, the thick fog cleared further down the route, so I was able to take in the fantastic views on the distant mountains. Then 32 minutes into an hour and 35 scenario, the train derailed for no reason, heading into a tunnel. Speed limit of 30, crew set to 30, was still doing 30, and was only an external camera at the time, which clipped through the mountain, and surely that shouldn't result in a derailment. You know why that derailment happened? Why did that derailment happen? He was so shocked how poorly that tunnel was. I know. It was terrible. He wanted to take in the tunnel a bit uh, more. How about the train audio and the distant tree shadows? And that's it. <laughs> Unless there's uh, more. Let's have a look. Is there any more? There is no more. So, overall so far, we should have bought it. No, no, we're good. We're good because the safety systems seem like they're still broken. Yeah. Which me means how on earth are the trains uh, supposed to... Uh... Um, Hold on. So on some platform... Let's have a look. It's working for me. Oh, actually, I tell you what. Oh. See, that looks good. That See, the photos pre route look fantastic. They sell it good, but then... For some reason, it doesn't look right. Unless what we saw was a pre-build. 
Could that have been possible? Could be. Ah, that's Queen's Park. Yeah, that's Queen's Park, because uh, Polk Shields East is uh, next. Um... I don't know. I think I'm happy with this idea that I've not bought it until at least those safety systems are fixed. Yeah. I think that I I think I'm happy with that. Ah, uh, a lot of people are gonna say, "Are you really happy with that choice?" And to be honest, yeah, I think I would say I am happy with that choice. Because why pay thirty pound that you can't move the locomotive? Exactly. Um. It was like activated um, the safety system via key. Oh, this is this is a this is a guy on Xbox who has a keyboard. Um, he's activated it via the keyboard in the cab controls. It doesn't work when pressed. Then use the controller. You can't even acknowledge them. So it looks like certainly for Xbox, it's still broken. I'm sure that unit doesn't go that fast. That Pollock, <coughs> Pollock Shields. East. Why is that? So I'm sure they will take their time steadily through that area of the fast. They may do. But you went a bit more at speed? Yeah, I went at uh, line speed, which is... Uh... Maybe that is the line speed. Maybe that is just how it uh, is. But uh, because we see it uh, IRL, it's just slower. Maybe that's how it is. I don't know. I couldn't. Um, I couldn't possibly say. Because we're not, uh, like I said, we're not from that area. No. Someone like Amatron, she'd know. Although Amatron's more Aberdeen, isn't she? Yeah. i tell you what we will do. I think uh, later on. It's like, um, there was actually a video I recently watched from Steve Marsh. Yeah. And even he says... Because he was uh, filming around Montrose, which is where he currently resides. Oh, that's lovely place, is Montrose. Is, is that the one with the basin? Yes. Lovely place. It is, actually. Lovely, lovely place. And it says, yeah, I've started my filming at Montrose today, even though I don't film here, as, even though I don't film here, because this is sacred ground. Hmm. In other words, it's his area, so he doesn't film there. Yeah. It, it, it is Montrose Station and Montrose um, Basin, a lovely place. You may have started the station, but that's about it. I would, but he's more over season all that. I would more. I would definitely, if I had the opportunity, well, I do have the opportunity, I think, later in the year, to uh, go back up and film at Montrose, I would definitely, definitely take it. Absolutely, 100%. Because like I said, I have plenty of uh, plenty of time for it. Yeah. Absolute uh, plenty of time. And plus, in Scotland, you won't have uh, the strikes and all that. That's true. I could be uh, up there doing a lot of uh, train filming in Scotland, and uh, all the strikes will be happening down there. How's it going down there for you? Take a take a look at what we have here. We have a train. <laughs> The only thing, if you do that area, though, you won't get the early the old services. Yeah, that's, that's the only problem, isn't it? And the, the old cross-country service. Mm. Some would say that's a good thing, though. <laughs> Unless the L and the R do run, but they only run between uh, X and Y and don't go down to Z. No, they always cut off north of Edinburgh during the strike. Do they? They're a bunch of tool bags. That's, uh... So basically, they only run up as far as Edinburgh... And then forget all about Aberdeen, even though Scotland's not on strike. They forget about Aberdeen, they forget about Stirling and Inverness. Inverness! And they forget about Glasgow. To be fair, I don't think that Glasgow Zuma runs anymore, does it? I think it still does. You think it still does? But to be honest, though, there's plenty of trains to Glasgow, so you're all right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's, there's plenty to uh, to keep you occupied there. Plenty of trains to Glasgow, plenty of ways of getting to Glasgow. Absolutely. It's just the other routes. That's the point. Do you know what uh, Phil's doing? Normally he puts Scotland in early. He's putting Scotland in last on his uh, trips out. Why, November? No, uh, September. That's actually a good time to go up to Scotland. I'd say it's a good time. I've said if I, if I can, I will. Obviously, I, I don't know if I can, can. 
Like I'm not sure <coughs> what I'm doing this year myself. I know one holiday's booked already, and that's my week off in August. Yeah, I mean, my, a lot of my um, a lot of my stuff is happening. Uh, how can I? Uh, a lot of my stuff happens now. Will happen as soon as April hits on weekdays. It won't be happening at weekends because of the um, racing league. Speaking of, if the, um, this is time for a personal plea, if there is a god, um, the best driver in the field might uh, might be working um, on Saturdays in the future. Um, if you could make that a permanent thing, say he finishes around about the time that the race uh, finishes, uh, that would probably mean uh, more easy dubs for me. <laughs> well, who's the best driver at the moment? I can't. Ah, he's just started a job, but he doesn't. He said, "I might be able to work sat do Saturdays, but I don't know if I'll be able to do Saturdays because I haven't got the job yet." But now I've got the job, and I don't know if I'm going to do Saturdays or not. And if he doesn't do Saturdays, I'm like, "Please do Saturdays." <laughs> yeah, because then do you know who the race victory would be between? Yourself and Bet myself and Pow, Super Pow. It'd be England versus Spain. With maybe Ukraine uh, getting involved in there as well. Yeah. But um, we don't know because Lucy has now gone. He's uh, taken a step back. He's become a, a team. He's become a proper team principal. Because um, he's uh, signed. A, he signed an absolute cracker. I tell you, he signed an absolute cracker. So we're done. So we've done the first half. Nice work so far. This We terminate here. Another will begin so shortly, shut it down, and head to the other end of the train. So, we will see you at the other end of the train, ready to go back uh, around the circle. All right, and so, here we are. We're at the other end of the unit now. And we're going to go do the uh, circle the other way. By uh, Basically, Mount Florida, Mount Maxwell Florida Park. and then go Maxwell Park afterwards, yes. We're six coach train. Just tell him what I'm doing. He's nodding. He's nodding. He, yeah, because I had a mouthful of drink when you were asked that question. I had a mouthful of something that uh, it was certainly... Uh, Ooh, that's a nice oh, departure. Oh, 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 that's, oh that, that's filth. That, that, that right there, Dove. If you have done this rivet, right, everything about what you have done in the past is all forgiven if you've done this scenario so that these two leave at the exact same time that is filthy that is absolutely filthy i guarantee you now everyone in the comment section right now they'll have seen this right here and they'll be all like all is forgiven rivet you have put two beautiful peps side by side with each other no i just for something what's that you know peppy and you fan yes you know that south park uh me. Uh, South Park me. No. What was Randy? Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. The one with come Randy. Come back. Please come back. The one with Randy. Oh, where he's at the computer. Yes. <laughs> You're I, can, I can imagine Peppy and you fan like that. Pe I imagine everybody who is a pet fan loved that. You could stick anyone's face on Randy Marsh at that point and uh, they would have liked that. You could stick your face on there. You would have liked that. We can stick Tico's face on there. He would have liked that. We can stick Joel... Actually, we better not stick Joel Hardy's face on there, because if we stick Joel Hardy's face, he'd be looking at something else other than Peps. <laughs> but you get the idea. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Come get us, boy. <laughs> Speaking of boys, that's what you like. Oh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, what were we talking about? Oh, yeah. I, I guarantee you now, just for that... Just for that 60 seconds there alone, River are forgiven for everything. Just for those 60 seconds? Just for those 60 seconds of having those two pets side by oh. side with each other. They're not forgiven for that. That's uh, that's just... Uh... That's basically saying a pep says shove off. <laughs> yeah, shove off. It's absolutely saying shove off. Now, this, to be fair, right, like I said, this is one of their better. This is the, probably their best route. I I would say so. The Kafka circle. The Kafka circle. I would say it's their best route. Definitely, I would say it's very accurate. See, because when I got to Scotland, because at the moment I'm 
try to get the content there, but it's a bit of a... I have to film one day, edit most day, then yeah. get it up for Sunday. Because mm -hmm. I have no backup options at the moment. Mm -hmm. So basically the content is just... <clears throat> I'm literally filmed that video as it's going up on the same week. Yeah. See, this is the uh, this is the problem that I've got uh, as well because very soon I'm gonna literally have content running out of my ears for the for the vlog channel to the point where I may be able to satisfy a need for more vlogs a week just to you know try and turn them quickly and then when I start running out, say ease it back again, ease it back, ease it back. See, what I think you should do is well talk talk to me here because. Here's what my problem is in... Um, you upload two <coughs> vlogs a week. At the moment, I'm uploading two vlogs a week because that's that's what my capacity is at. I, at the moment, I could get out two vlogs a week, no problem. Yeah. But what I'm thinking of is, if you're running out of vlog content, <coughs> you scale it back to one. Yeah, I I understand what you're, uh, what you're saying One there. per week and then, so you don't... Don't physically. So you have to per week, mm. and then when you get it up again, they can speed it up to two. But then what about because with um, certainly with uh, Ireland coming up, certainly with my week in Bournemouth coming up. But then you're four right after that. Well, that's the thing. There, do I keep it at the two a week, or do I go for a third day, saying, "Look, I'm in a good place where I can offer you a third vlog a week." Because I only do that if you get it right. Because go, go on. The last thing you don't, from my experience in 2020, you don't want to do it. You don't want to edit them close to like when you want them out. No, no. I think the, I think the idea is to get ahead of yourself so you can afford to do that. I think the thing with that uh, with the vlog channel at the moment, like I said, I've got to get the next batch of videos out. But I've got all the clips here waiting for me now, so perhaps this evening get the get or during our during dinner later on get the notes all done, get them onto the uh, computer, then start turning them into vlogs, then start creating them. No problem. Yeah. I could probably have the the first one up for the members on. Um, do I need it for this? No, I need it for next Monday, so I can get it up Thursday. No problem. Because what I'm doing now, I don't know if you think this is a good idea or not, but if I batch do a lot of vlogs, I'm then putting those free vlogs... You got posted, on... by the way. Oh, thank you, yeah. Well, while, while we're here, we, we've got... Um, you don't get a collectible here. We may as well collect them all so you can see what... There's the, the map right there. What's going on with him? What are you doing? Everything we said about Rivet at the beginning of this uh, journey we take back right now just for that. I think he's digging his heels in. He's digging his he's digging more than his heels in. I think he's that he's gotta to go to Glasgow, he's digging himself a grave. There's another collectible over there, the uh, the plant pots for the uh for the choo choo trains, which actually if you actually do go to any uh, station in Scotland you will physically see those uh I've got I forgot to close the, sorry, I forgot to close the door. But don't tell anyone I'm alright. We got a bit of time here as well. What do all these uh, switches do? Lighting. Lighting. More lights. More lights. Yeah. So, <coughs> what were you planning to do? Um, so, no, what I do is, and I don't know if you think this is a good idea or not, but I schedule them. Schedule them all. But then I give all. So for the last uh, three, I did the three that are going up right now for the south. Excuse me, Southwestern Territory. Yeah. I put them all up on YouTube and then gave all three to the members at the same time, but scheduled them for their individual upload day. No, I would say that's all right. I, I would say that's all because, right. Because, believe it or not... Because the way the way I think about someone that Someone else is, has literally done that with the Exmouth line. Yeah, I know you're well right with Jen. So she's uploaded it all in one go. By the way, but very underrated line. I didn't think you got that much traffic down uh, the X. Half an hourly service. Half an hourly service. I didn't think you got that. So yeah, 
basically upload them all in one go. If you want to watch them all in one go, you can, or if you want to wait till they get scheduled release to the members, you can do. Because I think, because I did um, have a look at seeing if I could lower the price of a membership down from, I can't. It Now that it's set at three ninety nine, it's froze at three ninety nine. I can't do anything about it. But on YouTube? On YouTube, yeah. It's literally froze at that price. Which is sad because I wanted to lower the price down. Yeah. I went because even, even someone saying, yeah, with the economy as it is at the moment, it would be a great idea to lower that price down. And don't don't get me wrong, there are people that are paying the four pound for the membership, and fair play, mad respect to them. I know mostly go for the. Uh... Bottom tier of mine, which is fair enough if you just want to pay that. Exactly. That's fine. Exactly. But I would have rather liked a scenario where... Let me go and... Uh, there's nothing down that way. Let's go uh, have a look at... Uh, what Which station we are here? We at, uh, Queen's there, Park. Queen's Park. There's the uh, poster right there. Uh, there's the poster there for Loch Ness. You've got to go all the way to the end of the station here to get your uh, flower pot. That's the thing with Queen's Park is it's a double exit. It is double exit, so... Uh, and there's Mind your uh, newspapers there as well. Perfect. Oh, metros. Yeah, your metros. Mind you, that exit at Queen's Park, there's a Sainsbury's right next door. Is there? Yes. Oh, so you could uh, get your train and then think, oh, I've got nothing to do for half an hour. What do we do now? Breakfast. Breakfast! <laughs> I did that once, actually, on the uh, Virgin Train Diverts. Did you? But they didn't really have much breakfast there, so it was just a cold bacon sandwich. Just a cold bacon sandwich. What was that like? It wasn't too bad. Was it not too bad? It had red sauce, though. Oh, well, there you go. You're laughing, aren't you? Yeah. But no, I'm glad they're bringing that breakfast wrap back, because that breakfast wrap was god tier. Oh, yes. It was god tier. Although some people are miffed that uh, that was the announcement for what's coming back. Why? They thought it was something bigger. Chicken Legend. I, I completely oh. forgot the Chicken Legend had gone! Oh. oh, yeah, I completely forgot the chicken legend had gone. Mind you, those breakfast wraps are good because you usually get a couple. Get get a couple. Depends on what the price will be. If the price is good, then, yeah, get a couple of them down. You're no problem. One thing I do like, though, is wrap of the day. Oh, Sometimes oh, oh, oh wrap of the get day. Get wrap of the day at a good price. Yes. Especially if it's the day's chosen wrap. Because then you get the meal and it's actually cheaper as well. Because I think regular wrap of the day, it's something like £5.99. Yeah. So regular without being wrap of the day is five ninety nine. But if it's uh, wrap of the day, it comes down to £5.09 for a large meal, which is fucking god tier, I tell you now. Whoops. Ah, we're fine. No one's, no one saw anything. <laughs> anyway, let's get the poster. See, this is how we're here. We may as well uh, get it on. Oh, off. I can't remember what this station is. Is this uh, Mount Florida? No, it's the oh, what, it's the one before it. Uh, it's not, not Hill, no. No, it's not Hillfoot. It's, um, I'm pretty sure there's a station sign around here. Someone that'll tell you. There's the thingy. Uh, Doesn't matter if we're a bit late back into Glasgow. We're fine. I can't remember it. I can't remember. There's the newspapers. Um, it's foot, no. It's got a cross. Oh. Uh, I can't remember what your name of your station is either as well, unfortunately. Let's just go in uh, the sideway. Thank you. He's going to check his phone now. I'm going to hit myself with it. What, what, what were we talking about before we uh, got interrupted? Oh, Mackies. Mackies, yeah. Mackies. So, so my favourite rap at the moment is the um, the Chicken Caesar one. That's my favourite wrap at the moment. Don't get me wrong, I love the barbecue one that they do. He's thinking it was uh, Queen's Park. No, it's not Queen's Park, but just using Queen's Park as a... an example. It was... Cross Hill. Cross Hill, that's it. Because who's next? Uh, Mount Florida's yes. next. It's Cross Hill. Yeah, the barbecue one as well. I love that one. The barbecue chicken. I love that one. But if you have not tried the chicken Caesar one yet, I... put implore you to uh, recommend to try that one. I'm trying to think because I think I may have tried it. It's basically the barbecue one. Yeah. But instead of um, a barbe the barbecue sauce, it's a Caesar 
uh, sauce and they take the tomato out. And you can have it in two variants. You can have a grilled version yeah. or a, a crispy version. I like the crispy version. Oh, the grilled version is very, very underrated. It is very, very underrated. But I did, did try the steakhouse stack yesterday. Oh, I thought about it. I thought about it, but something tells me I might not like it. It's all right, actually. I think the sauce is a bit spicy. But it, it's is it is it a case of they've overpowered the sauce again? Have they? Slightly, but it's all right. Okay. No, I tell you what, I because they're all uh, screaming. Um, not only do they want to see the chicken legend back, they want to see one of your old favourites come the back. The barbecue rib. The back rib, yeah. Oh, the back rib. Sorry. The back rib. I know it's funny actually because you you can get the back rib in Germany as a standard. McDonald's item. Actually, it's Belgian, not uh, Germany. Antwerp. We got it Antwerp. No, I had it in Germany once. You had it in Germany? <clears throat> Dusseldorf. Oh, Dusseldorf. Uh, of course, yes, you did. Yes, you did. Sorry, yes. But uh, over here, it's not a standard item. It's not. Which is a shame. It is. The back rib is absolutely gorgeous. It is. Absolutely. Mind you, I say it's absolutely gorgeous. I've never had it. So I can't possibly uh, comment. There's the newspapers. I'm missing a poster I think. Unless I got it. No, I think we got it. Didn't yeah, I used to remember the Chicken Legends. Yeah! <clears throat> I completely forgot. I didn't even realise the Chicken Legends had gone. If I was being honest. Because you, you remember the... Because they've got the McCrispy now, which is essentially their Chicken Legend. You know, I started to come back now while Chicken Legend is. <laughs> oh, yes. You remember the Chicken Legend? That's it, That's yeah. That's it, yeah. Chicken Legend with hot and spicy mayo. Or sometimes it had barbecue as well. That's the one, that's, yes. That's the one. The yes, only had... thing I found wrong with that because chicken... Because you had three, three different sauces to it. You had a mayo, you had a spicy one, and then you had barbecue sauce. The only thing I found wrong with the Chicken Legend was... I thought the bun was a bit um, on the harder side. It's more of a sub than a... It was more of a sub than... <clears> um, <throat> it's like they tried to do something with the bun and it just... I don't think it worked. It was gorgeous. Oh, that's the line off to uh, Newton. That's the line off to... No, that's the line off to... Uh, oh, yeah, Newton, sorry, Newton. By uh, Kings Park. Kings Park and uh, whatnot. Because now Kirk we're going Hill. to do Cathcart. Yeah. And we're... Um, going to do uh, the calf cart. To... Now we've got a red light here so I assume that means that uh, we're waiting for something to go to probably down to where's that other place? Newton or coming off Newton? No, 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 the other way, the other line. Oh, Nielsen. Nielsen, that's it. I sh no, we can't be coming off Nielsen. Can it? No, because the Newton line's right next door here. Yeah, the Newton line is there. So, surely... Uh, it's either going to be a train off Newton that's going via Pollock Shields East, or it's going to be. Um, Ooh, you wanna... Oh, you want to pull that up very quickly. There you go. So, seeing as we're on a red light, I bet we got a bit of time now. We can uh, do a bit of exploring on Cathcart uh, for everyone. See what there's the there's the route map. There's the papers. There'll be a poster on the other side of that building. I guarantee you. Still got both peps. Yep. So that's good. There's the uh, plant pot. If you are going for the collectibles, there isn't a trophy for the collectibles. This is this is where I said the idea. They used to be on Trades in World 4. But then they dropped it. But then they dropped no, it. No, this is Trades in World 4. Sorry, sorry. Um, Trades in World 3's version. But then they dropped it for some reason. We've not got a poster. Where's the poster? There's, ah, there's the train. There's the train we're waiting for. So that's coming is off the there. poster down here. This is one of the occasions the poster is down uh, in the subway here at uh, Cathcart. You can't get uh, further there. Uh, yes, it's there. There it is. But yeah, on Trades in World 3, there was a trophy for this. But for Trades in World 4, they scaled back the number of trophies. So now you don't have a trophy for this anymore. Which is a shame. Which It is a shame. I, I wholeheartedly agree. It's an absolute uh, crime. It's a travesty. Uh, a miscarriage of justice, as uh, Gorilla Monsoon uh, used to say. <laughs> the late, great Gorilla Monsoon. Oh, yeah, he said that a lot, did he? He did. What a miscarriage of justice. And 
And in many cases, it was. Because Gorilla Monsoon... Um, Says it like it is. Said it like it was. But what made Gorilla Monsoon's commentary poet was he had the perfect partner with the brain. Yeah. Because they, they bounced off each other. Even in um, shoot interviews he did after um, leaving WWE and uh, was in WCW, he said that was the perfect, perfect partnership right there. Because on mic they would argue and bicker like no one's business. Yeah. In the back they they would be uh, having a drink together, having having whatever. It, it's when when they announced um, Monsoon's death, right, and on WCW while Brain was. Um, doing the commentary there yeah because uh Shiv- i think it was shivani at the time turned to brain and la- that wasn't a pawn that was real bobby heenan you saw there because he was a friend to bobby heenan yeah and even in his hall of fame speech he he wished that monsoon was there to see this happen for him and called him his friend which, which um now it's because now uh bobby's gone he is dead, isn't he? I'm sure. I'm sure he passed away a couple of years ago, Bobby. Heenan. I think he did. Yeah, they're, they're in the best. You you know up there now. Yeah. They'll both be arguing with each other still, but they'll still be good friends. Yeah. That that's that is the key to I think the perfect wrestling commentary partnership. Jr. and the King. Perfect example. Off camera, absolute close friends. On camera. Arguing and bickering. I, I remember one. Um, oh, that was it. I was watching um, DX uh, in your house, nineteen ninety-eight. Yeah. And um, now was it, it seven? Sorry, seven. You are right. You are right. I apologise on that one. And um, I was because I watched the uh, the Mark Mero uh, Butterbean fight, and Mark Mero had just done the low blow to Butterbean. Yeah. Right. And uh, in on the replay. The king. Now look at this, right in his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> and and Jay was like, "Oh come on, that's a Galano you ever saw one." And literally, you saw the gloved fist right between Butterbean's legs. <laughs> and it was, and it was like, dude. It was like, dude, how are you calling that a punch in the gut when it clearly looks like he got punched right in the nutsack? <laughs> Oh. But that that was what made it so perfect because JR was the perfect face com- commentator. King was the perfect heel commentator. Yes. They did try to recreate it, I think, with Cole and King, but in reverse. I don't think it quite worked, but they still were gold to watch on to watch on TV. Yeah. They still were gold. Speaking of, have you heard that they've um, give um, Irish Boy an ultimatum? Uh, what's his name? Kevin Patrick. No, I haven't actually. So what they're doing now is they're going to revert back to two-man commentary on SmackDown, take Michael Cole away. Yeah. Because they want to they want to see how Kevin Patrick's improved. Uh, and if he's not improved, he's done. They'll pull him off commentary. Because they don't think he's improving. He's trying, but it's... he's trying. I, God help, God help the lad. He's trying. I just don't think. There's some people you you just know are going to fit well into... I mean, when, when they first made the decision that Kevin Patrick was going to be the Raw commentator, we all thought, whoa, hang on a second, whoa. And then when you heard him a few times, you thought, OK, th- this could potentially yeah. work. He certainly had... He certainly gave you drama he, in his voice. He certainly projected himself well. I just feel... It's not right for him. I I just feel it's not right for him. Fair play for trying it. Maybe, maybe that's just a problem with us because for me, goat commentary in WWE will always be Mauro Ronello. Always. Yes. Always because Mauro was a WWE fan. He his react and to be fair, Michael Cole and Corey Graves on pay per view now are trying to recreate Mauro Ronello. Maybe the argument is. Triple H needs to get on the phone to Cam and say, Moro, come on. We need you back. We need you back. If he's got anything about him, he wants to make that phone call and get him back on, yeah. on SmackDown. I guarantee it. Because doesn't Corey do both shows? 
Raw and SmackDown. I think he does. They they need to have Corey stop doing that. They they are. Oh, I mean, don't get me wrong. Corey is fantastic as a heel commentator. Yeah, fantastic. But they need someone on that second show. They need someone perfect. Even even if they te- put him on SmackDown, oh no, who, which one, which show's Carmella on? Raw. I think it's Raw. Keep him on Raw with Carmella, like like they do do. Yeah. With Michael Cole, that should be the Raw team. That should be the flagship Raw team. Yes. And then SmackDown should have Mora Ranello and someone else. But NXT's working fine with Vic and Booker. Keep yeah. it there. But you've got to have someone that's going to bounce off Moro per Mora Ranello perfectly. You've got to don't bring don't bring JBL back for God's sake we know what'll happen if you bring JBL back yeah that's you, not gonna work that's out. not gonna work even if right <clears throat> even if they put JBL on raw and bring Corey Graves over to Smackdown right and then perhaps transfer Carmelo over to Smackdown or something like that I don't know but that's what I would do you've got it you can't have one guy doing both shows especially if one show's in one area the other show's in the other area yeah it's, what happens if a flight got cancelled <clears> exactly they then got to rely on someone uh, backstage who do they generally rely on don't know or sometimes they've got to get someone like Kevin Owens in yeah someone like Kevin Owens uh, maybe that uh, how old's Kevin he's got to be getting in his late 30s that, maybe that's the perfect thing for Kevin Owens. He's going to transition into that announcer. No, 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 no. Here's what's, here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen, right? Let's get, um, let's get Moro back on SmackDown, right? Yes. Yeah. Let's get Moro back on SmackDown. I can see CM Punk transitioning into announcer role. As soon as he's decided, you know what, right? I've had my run back. It's been a fantastic run. I still want to be here. Put me on commentary. I guarantee CM Punk and Mauro Ranello would be an absolute fire partnership. Absolute fire. Because you saw how well it worked for the... Uh, was it the May Young Classic with Mauro and uh, Daniel Bryan? I think it was. You saw how well that worked. Yeah. And I think, didn't he then do the May Young Classic with Beth Phoenix? Or was that Michael Cole with Beth Phoenix? Maybe Cole. Maybe Cole. But certainly, I think Moro with another wrestler, former wrestler turned commentator, would work. That would work perfectly. Fit the bill. Fit absolutely fit the bill. Because Moro was born to be. I don't know what. What is he doing now, Moro? Is he still doing UFC? Or is he? Um, has he uh, had enough now? I think he's still doing UFC, isn't he? Let's have a look. M A M A U R O R. There he is, Mauro Ranello. Um. Oh, he's doing play-by-play with MMA. Yeah. He's doing the MMA. But seriously. Oh, Bellator. Oh, he's Bellator. Thought he had. Uh, I knew it would be an MMA promotion of some kind. But um, he was perfect. Down in NXT, he had you invested in those 30, 40 minute matches. That's what you came for. And then JBL decided to crap all over him, the bully that he was. <clears throat> anyway, enough to say about JBL. We all know what we think about JBL. Because, um, yeah, JBL. Ugh. How long we got left? We got 11 minutes and my throat is starting to give out. Thankfully, we got a lunch break coming up. Yes. I'll take uh, that cup, though, because I know there's some Vimto in that cup. There is some Vimto in that cup. Do you know they say on bottles you should try Vimto hot? I've never, ever done that. Really? Never. <gasps> never, ever, ever tried it hot. Because you don't know what it's going to taste like. Hot Vimto. Hot Vimto, yeah. What do you have to do? Just put water into Bimto? No. Simply, you um, you put your Bimto in, heat, yeah. the, heat the kettle up, and put hot water in there. That's it. 
You don't put it in the microwave, you don't do anything, you just put hot water in. Unless you're American, you do put it in the microwave. <laughs> Remember that uh, time? When someone from America actually made a cup of tea, but they used the microwave. Oh, God, no. And I remember someone, uh, I think it was Jack Boskett, actually just mocked their video. He made a cup of tea, but using a teapot. <laughs> By the way, before anyone criticises uh, us about the overshoot, the... The uh, the gold uh, number was about uh, eighteen, nineteen thousand, and we're already at twenty seven thousand XP. So we've we've got gold and then some. So screw your perfect stops now. I'm doing this for fun. This is Maxwell Park. This is Maxwell Park. Yes. Uh, I'm just looking. The flower pot's not on the other end of the platform, is it? Oh, the poster is though. <laughs> the poster is though. Oh dear me. I think we've only got Pollock Shields to go and then we're back into Glasgow, yeah. aren't we? That's it. Which is awesome. And then tomorrow we say goodbye to... Oh, there's to... the flower pot. Oh, there's the flower pot. We already got it. And then tomorrow we say goodbye to Cathcart Circle today. We're saying goodbye to London Commuter tomorrow uh, with a 387, I think it is. It's going to be uh, heavily diverted. All will be revealed when we get there. Yeah. But uh, I already got the thumbnail for that um, for that one already. That thumbnail is fire. But it's a shame, though, they've not added any more stuff to this. It is, and this is where we, we could go on and on. We've, we've talked about this route. This route could have easily got the 385s, perhaps a couple of new scenarios here and there, put the 385s in here. The London uh, commuter could have easily had the 700s, a few scenarios from East Croydon down to See, uh, is... Brighton. This is the interesting thing with Trace Later Classic. When they brought units or locomotives <coughs> out, yeah. they gave scenarios, but they gave them in certain routes. Yeah. So basically, you had the 700 out. You had scenarios for probably the Brighton Main Line, um, Southeastern High Speed. So you had plenty of scenarios for that, for that um, specific yeah. thing. But now you're only getting it for one route. Now you're only getting it, yeah, for, for essentially one route. Which, un, unlike, unlike the petroleum pack, which gave it us for two routes and two scenarios. Yeah. Maybe that's what we need if we get sort of... Because um, that was a volume one. I imagine we're going to get a, another one. So we're going to get another one for other routes. But I'm not sure what the next one's going to be. We're getting petroleum. What's the next one going to be? What would the next freight be? It can't be intermodal. No. We've got tankers. It can't be coal. Could it be coal? What What would you put on the other side of petro after petroleum? I don't know because it's... <clears throat> because with the routes I've got at the moment, it's quite difficult to put like certain rolly stock on there it is it, it is very difficult i uh i do agree but they've got to uh figure it uh somehow yeah how how they're uh, going to figure it i um i haven't got uh the tiniest of clues but uh they'll get it figured out uh... see I, I think one pack that will give it a lot of stuff to do would be a test trade pack yes like yes. you could probably do with 37, you could probably do it with... Can you imagine all of the routes that could have a, t a, t a benefit from a test train yeah. pack? And there's a lot of routes that have network rail test trains. Exactly. If I, I would hazard a guess that all the British routes that we've got here would easily benefit from one or two scenarios with a test train. Yeah. Easily. Apart from South East and High Speed. Apart from South East, yeah. No, no more, no more, please, sir. No more. Like, Edinburgh Glasgow <coughs> could have a test train. Yes, Edinburgh Glasgow. Hello there. Um, I think what else? The East Coast Mainline could have a test train. East Coast Mainline easily could have a, a test train or two. Um, uh, definitely Brighton Mainline could have a test train. 73. Miss 73. That'd be an option. 
What if the test train pack we get does bring the 73s? Yes. Because you could have them on the Midland Main Line as well. You could have them on the Midland Main Line as well. Absolutely. Ten, I mean, you got the HST as well. You can easily say, oh, we got the HST. Let's just reskin the into the network rail yellow. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll give you a test train for HSTs or something. Give you we got the, the 30. only problem we'll be able <clears throat> to do that is it's the interior. Yes, but I'm pretty sure if um, Derby RTC, where all the or Tom Bridge, wherever the um, test trains go to and from, I'm pretty sure they'd be very accommodating to uh, give you the test trains. Yeah. I mean. A test train pack could open the possibility of perhaps another... You can have a test train on the Hatfield line. Exactly. On the Glossop line. On the Glossop line. Glossop line, Cross City. Glossop, Cross City. All of them would benefit greatly from a pack. I'm trying to think of what other um, cargoes we could have that um, scenarios would be good for. Like I said test train is uh, is one. Um, we've got petroleum already. Coal would be. You're limited with that though. You're limited with the coal one, unfortunately. Yeah. Um... Same with steel. What's the um, what's the flow that goes out of? <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Avonmouth going to Penneford. I think that's cement tanks. Well, there you are. There's another one. Cement. We've got petroleum. Why not cement? Yeah. It's um, it's a simple uh, thing. Because I guarantee you, right, if we got cement tanks, if we got cement tanks, someone will try and recreate that um, western on the test train. Someone will try to recreate that. Yeah. <clears throat> someone will. You know they will. Maybe we will. Who knows? I like how they just use that Western for like it's loaded test with a freight train. <laughs> hey, that's what you call genius. Yeah. We need to test this out. Uh, we need to test it out to its full capability. Oh, here you are. Then um, we'll take it for you, says GBRF. And uh, also, let's uh, put it on a test train, a uh, freight train working as well. There's your, there's your loaded test right there. I think it passed, didn't it? I haven't heard anything bad come from no. it. No. I think it has passed. So I think we're going to see the Western back on the main line, which is needed. That'd be nice, actually. That Western on the main line is needed. The mighty my back. That might be another chase video I could do. What? The mighty the mighty my back chase. Chase a Western. Do you know what? I, I could perhaps do that chase video as well. The mighty my back test. Put the letters together. MMC. <laughs> <laughs> My sword did ask if I could do a Mersey Rail scrap move chase. The problem is, though, it's the timings. Timings, yeah. Like yesterday, there was one with two 508s go for scrap. Yeah. But there was limited stops for that. Limited stop. That's the problem with um, scrap moves. There's limited stops, isn't there? Yeah. It's, like, some, it's that... like a rail tour is fine. You can chase the rail tour. That's no problem. Like with the 319 that I did, there was some stops... But whenever it stopped there, it skipped it. Yeah. What I think is the best tours to chase are probably going to be something like the the uh, the Pathfinder tours, which do the the hidden the forgotten tracks. They yeah. Because then you can plan those out. No, nothing against the UK rail tours or the vintage or whatever like that, but those tours are point to point. Whereas Pathfinders is point to point to point to another point to another point. Yeah. Etc. And it just goes all around. Well, I did that with the 60 of that. And that came was the, good. Yeah. Absolutely. So, what you need to do is find the next Pathfinder and say, okay, let's go chase this. But the only thing is, I think the next Pathfinder is uh, the Come and Glow. <laughs> I know, that was. Yeah. That's a hilarious. <laughs> that's who, a Welsh one, is that's it? That's a Welsh one, yeah. Who thought that was. They were trophy. Getting dizzy, that is all the scenarios done on the Cathcart Circle. Like, one day I would probably chase like a flight Scotsman. 
That'd be interesting. Or chase... Um, who else no, is... Chase you? a few steam locos. You know who'd be a good steam engine to chase first time back? Blue Peter. Oh, oh yeah, that would be good. Blue, Blue Peter would or be... Or Tornado. A, or a Tornado. Or what about that um, Great Western Celebration Tour, Zulu 48? Now that would be a tour to chase, surely. Oh, yeah. That would be a chore. To chore? I'm going to go take a break. I've got to put my teeth back in after that. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> we've come to the end. We've come to the end. That's uh, the end of the Cathcart Circle. So we'll see you tomorrow for London Commuter. And uh, time for Sheldon to have the last word. Bye-bye, Cathcart.